Hi everybody, today is May 28, 2012. I'm sure you guys have heard by now about the zombie attack there in Miami. Evidently the poor man that was attacked had 80% of his face literally ripped off. Before the police officers shot this so-called zombie several times, when the police officer asked him to stop, he just looked at the police officer and growled at him. And it took multiple shots before they were able to kill him. I imagine it was probably a headshot. But they're saying that it was drug-induced. And they actually uh, have a link here to a website called Excited Delirium. There's evidently been multiple cases in Miami that has not been reported about this zombie behavior. They even uh, have a research document page for police officers. This is from the University of Miami. Excited delirium. You can't make this stuff up. Over the past decade, increased attention has been paid to the sudden and seemingly unexpected deaths in some highly agitated subjects being held in police custody. In most of these cases, force required to restrain or incapacitate the subject has not been sufficient to cause death, and yet they die. Symptoms of excited delirium include bizarre and or aggressive behavior, shouting, paranoia, panic, violence towards others, unexpected physical strength, and hyperthermia. This is where they suddenly feel overheated and start ripping off their own clothes. And it says here, throughout the United States and Canada, these cases are frequently associated with drug abuse. But tests have shown that it hasn't been drug abuse. They think there's an underlying central nervous system disorder was the precipient cause of death in these people. It goes on to say, fact, ED as they call it, is a medical emergency that presents itself to law enforcement as a law enforcement problem. ED is not easily recognized. ED Containment require backup personnel. 80 victims exhibit superhuman strength or imperious to pain. Uh, restraint positions and use of electronic control devices, taser to override the CNS. And it says ED is a life-threatening emergency. Here it says inside their bodies, their organs are burning up. Um, they, re they reach temperatures where they actually are burning up and actually makes them take off their clothes. So this is why a lot of these so-called zombies are naked. So I did uh, some research and I found three cases in Florida. One where um, a man was tasered and there's a lawsuit. The most recent one, um, you know, where the ripped off the poor guy's face. This here, you might want to pause this to read this if you can. Enlarge it. This is where the fellow had to be tasered and he died. This one here is where a woman attacked a man in his motorized wheelchair. Um, he said that she claimed during the attack that she was a vampire and was going to eat him. She was later found um, half naked and she had no recollection, uh, recollection of the attack. But then there was another interesting one in Colorado. This fellow evidently was at the Denver Zoo with his girlfriend and all of a sudden he just started bringing up and started taking off his clothes and put his head under water, started acting um, very bizarre, attacking people. It took um, five people to um, you know, get him under control. And they accused him of being on drugs too and it was found out he was not on drugs. She thought possibly he was having a heat stroke and this is why he started the zombie behavior attacking and biting people. In Denver, Colorado, too, there was another one where a woman walked into a convenience store and just started attacking people and biting them. And then there was a case in California where a 49-year-old woman just started going crazy and um, bit to death a 47-year-old friend more than a dozen times. And they said that something happened. She went crazy. Phoenix, Arizona, a man walks into a Target store and starts gnawing on some woman's foot. And then got another one here. El Paso, Texas, man was found dead of apparently, they think it was mauled by dogs, but yet no dogs were ever found. So I was thinking, you know, you could always say, and this was in a, in a city, El Paso, Texas, you can always blame wild dogs on zombie attacks. 
right there, the dog or dogs have not been found. Another case where a naked man lunged at police, um, biting one in the leg. <laughs> I mean, and then they, yeah, I don't know if you can read that, but yeah. He says he picked up a woman and flung her around like she was a rag down. Uh, the police were able to stop the assault. I believe this is also in Texas where a couple were walking and they were attacked by a naked woman. It says if you don't think, oh well, excuse me, they were. this was the one where they were driving down the street and she was waving her arms in the air and they thought she was the victim but she turned out to be the zombie. So then there's other parts of the world. Oh, I didn't do that one. A woman walking alone early Thursday morning was attacked from behind by a group of six other women she did not know, according to the police. After the attack, which police categorized as unusual, they identified what victim um, took herself to the medical center with a two-inch laceration and across one of her legs and bite marks on her back. There was also a case, I believe this is the one that was in China, where a six-year-old boy's penis was bitten off by his father. Evidently, they were walking down the street when this happened. Here's another one. Oh, this, is this Dubai? Because I know there was a case in Dubai. Yeah, Dubai. Man was sentenced to two and a half years in prison and ordered his deportation from the UAE after he was convicted of robbing an Asian nurse and biting off parts of her face. The identif unidentified man was also convicted of resisting arrest and biting the hands of two police officers when they caught him. So he got sentenced for one year for attacking the nurse. And here's one more that I found. I can get it to pop up. Uh, after some confusion, which police unit should handle the case, um, theft and robbery, they haven't found anything missing. A 75-year-old woman was allegedly mauled to death inside her house. She had no pets. Results of the autopsies, who found the dead woman in her bedroom and uh, showed that she was killed. Um, she was mauled to death, but nothing was missing. Just She was just torn into shreds. So like I said, this um, ED is on the rise in Miami. They're not reporting it. We'll just have to keep looking. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep everyone up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye now.